Alright guys, we are here for our weekly grind video. Yes, I actually ended up having the time to go and create it for you. Uh, I don't know the actual time that this is going to go up, but it should be going up on Wednesday. So for those of you who are new here, this is a video where I just go over all of the events and all of the summon events that are currently available on both the Global and JP side. I start with Global, then I move over to JP. So, without further ado, this is, well, essentially this is a news reading <laughs> for most of you. So if you read the news, this might not be too helpful for you. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is going to be a little bit quicker because I have to go soon. Uh, first off, Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga Finale runs until Monday 11th, or uh, t uh, December 11th, 2017. Uh, so this just got released actually a couple days ago, so we have a while to do this. I re definitely recommend grinding it out. There's some cool units here. The Dokken Waken version of this Gohan and this Trunks are kind of super, are kind of awesome for uh, specific teams, for free-to-play teams. Uh, also grind out these Satans from Stage Five, the Almighty Super Saiyan Four. You go ahead and grab, you can grab those um, those medals if you want to from this event uh, to actually make some purchases from the Baba Shop. They're also available on another event, which I will be covering, so just know that the best place to farm them is Stage 5, and the only reason why it's good to farm them from Stage 5 is if the other event is not available. Stage 6 drops the baby uh, medals, uh, the, the baby Vegeta medals, and then you have the Gohan, Trunks, or Go Gohan, Goten, and Trunks medals, uh, if you want to grind them. Honestly, this event kind of stinks. I wouldn't recommend grinding out for, like, these uh, Hercule medals and stuff like that, and these Chi-Chi's, but, you know, they're cool items. Overall, pretty decent units, and if you want to Doken Awaken this baby, he's really cool on a free-to-play team, especially up against the Frieza event. Uh, this Chi-Chi is cool, don't get me wrong, she's a really good support unit. Uh, she reduces all opponents' attack and defense by 74% for one turn, so she can help you one-shot a lot of enemies and make it so you're not taking any damage. Uh, but yeah, guys, the next one is going to be the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga event, which is different from this Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga Finale. This is the event that goes along with it. This is the first one that came out. So this is where you could actually grind out the Goten, the Vegeta, uh, yeah, the Goten and the Vegeta that Dokken Awaken into those forms that you just saw. So those are all there. Stage 3 is Gohan Medal. Stage 4 is Goten Medals. Stage 5 is the v Baby Vegeta Medals. Stage 6 is Trunks Medals. Stage 7 is Vegeta Medals. Stage 9 and 10 are going to be Hercule Medals. Uh, or badges that you use to trade in at the Baba Shop. Stage 10 is going to be the best yield for you. Plus, you also will get a Hercule statue, so it's definitely really good because you get a lot of Zenny. This is the best stage to get both good items and Hercule statues, so I definitely recommend that. That just got released uh, a couple days ago as well. It's running until December 11th as well, so make sure you go ahead and grind that. This is the first one out of all the GT ones that I recommend grinding out just because of those Hercule statues if you're lacking in Zenny. Next one, Goku and his friends are back. I know you we are all aware of it. I did a, a couple of team building guides on it. I actually have one coming out today. Uh, that That is a full uh, playthrough of all four levels. So if you want to see that, that's going to be released later on tonight. Um, it ends Sunday, December 3rd at 10 p.m. PST. It's a cool event. Go ahead and grind out the Tarbles. I definitely recommend grinding out the Trunks to get them to Super Attack 10, get some of the dupe pads unlocked. Some people have been filling in all this dupe system. I don't know why. I don't think it's worth it. Um, but he's a cool unit. He gets attack and defense, I believe, plus 40%. He's cool on a Fusions team. He is technically a Fusions leader, Fusion category leader. Really not that great for it, but he is. Uh, you also get some cool training items if you if he doesn't drop, and he feeds into the agility and the strength base form Gotenks. Uh, Tarble's cool. Also, he's an orb changer, so he's definitely worth it. Stage 1 gives you these radishes, small and large. Uh, the large ones are going to be on little question marks, so I recommend going and grinding at least some of them. Uh, at least getting the Elder Kai's with the large uh, radishes if you're lacking Elder Kai's, especially if you're free to play. Um, definitely worth it, and yeah, that's about it for this team, uh, or this event. Really good event. I definitely recommend grinding it out. It's not a grind fest, especially if you have a lot of fusion characters. It makes it a lot easier. Like, you'll be able to get all the Tarbles in probably about five runs. <laughs> um, okay, the next one is the Dragon Ball GT Black Star Dragon, um, the Black Star Dragon Ball Saga event. So this is cool. Um, this is a decent one. Uh, you can grind out these Gokus and Z uh, Dokken Awaken him into this uh, Super Saiyan Goku and feed him into the other Super Saiyan GT Gokus. Not really like worth it in my opinion, but you can do it if you want to because none of them are really that great. Uh, you also have the General Rildo that can Dokken Awaken. He's really cool on a free-to-play strength team. Um, there, it's similar to the other Dragon Ball GT events where you get these Metal Apples. Uh, metal Apples, best one to farm on is going to be Stage 7, uh, Enigmatic, Planet M2. You get the most drops there. Uh, but if you're trying to go for the different uh, cards for Dokken Waking, Reldo's going to be on Stage 9. Um, Goku's going to be on Stage 2. 
You also have the Trunks medals that are required for Doken Awakenings on Stage 3, the Pan medals, which are on Stage 6. These Pan medals are also what Doken Awakens some of the Fusion characters, like Bulla, I believe it is, or Bullpan. So you can go ahead and grind those out as well if you want to grind them for that event, if you didn't grind it during the Fusions event. Stage 8 is the Black Star Dragon Ball Saga. Looks like it's the, uh, whatever, I forgot the name of all those different, the four different robots that combine into one robot to fight up against Goku, but that's where you get those medals from. And then you get the, um, uh, he's, I forgot, damn, I forgot his name. Uh, <laughs> now this is the guy, um, uh, so the, the, one of the, the scientists from GT that, cr that helped uh, do all the robots in the planet. Yeah, that's where you get his medal, stage 10. <laughs> that was so bad. Anyway, um, so that's awesome. That, again, that's going to be running, that, that just got released recently as well. On the 13th, it's going to run till the 7th, so I recommend at least grinding out some of those apples to get some of those Elder Kai's while you can. Dragon Ball Fusion's event runs until uh, the 27th, so go ahead and grind that out if you want to do so. The one thing I will say is to go, definitely grind out the um, the Barlot medals, because the Barlot medals are the only time you can get those medals is from here. Is from this event specifically. Um, I just recommend doing it, because if the banner comes, usually when the banner comes out, the event comes out, but it's just something that's good to know to make sure you have. Um, outside of that, definitely get the uh, Tekka and the Pinnick. Those two are very, very decent units for a free-to-play team, so it might be worth you grinding them out. Uh, cool characters, you can get them to Super Attack 10 really easily. You can get their Dupes on lot, their SSRs. Um, next one is going to be the Rising Dragon Carnival event. I already told you guys it's not worth running um, or using your stones on. It's essentially 15 stones for 5 pulls, and it comes out to 30 stone discount summons. It's not worth it, in my opinion. It runs until 12 to 11.23, so it ends tonight. Uh, or, sorry, tomorrow night. Do not summon on it, guys. If you already have, that's fine. I know a lot of you have pulled LRs, and you've told me you've pulled LRs. I still, I'm going to tell you, I don't think it's worth it. Unless you're, like, re-rolling your accounts to do to get the LRs, it's the only time it's probably going to be worth it for you. Um, outside of that, I don't recommend doing it. Save your stones for the Gogeta Janemba banner. Um, and now we're moving on to the summons of Global World Tournament. Ex World Tournament exclusive summons runs until... November 29th, 2017. Go on there and do that. You have all these Doken Awakenings that are available as well. Really cool. The same thing with the Dragon Ball Saga ones. They, they run for a while. You have some time to do it if you haven't already done so. Me, personally, I am saving my tickets for when they release the new SSRs. Uh, I believe they're trying to get the global side caught up with the JP side. They already released some cards into the summon pool that weren't obtainable via the World Tournament, uh, just so that way we can get caught up with their with the JP World Tournaments. I believe they were like one card behind, which is the Trunks. Once they add the Trunks in there, assuming the LR that they're, that they're going to be adding to the local reward is a grindable one and not a summonable one, I'll be using the tickets on this. But uh, that's cool, so that runs until the 29th. You guys have about seven days left for that. Category System Launch Celebration Summon runs until the 27th. Uh, again, I don't recommend doing it, but if you don't have any of those characters, uh, I would wait until Gogeta Janemba if you don't have either of them because the Omega and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta should be on that banner. And if they are and you don't have enough cards, then go ahead and do this. I would say wait until that banner releases and see which one you get before you summon on this one. Uh, but yeah, there's some good cards. I already did a full review of that. Go ahead, check the channel for that. I did a full category system launch celebration summon event overview or summon guide. Um, next one is going to be the crossover summon event live. Uh, Monday, 11:27 is when it ends. So that again will end the same day as the cross as the um, the category system launch. Now my goal is to do the Super Saiyan, uh, the Gogeta and Janemba banners. And if I get a good haul, if I get lucky, then I'm going to go ahead and do some summons on this banner. What honestly, what I'm probably going to end up doing is doing the, the discount summons on each banner, two separate videos for each of them, and then doing one summoning, um, three multi summons on this banner just to see what I can pull probably one of the choice I'm going to go with. There's some really good units here. I also did a full in-depth review of this if you want to go check that out on the channel as well. All right, moving on to the JP side. Uh, JP side event, the Raditz event has started. It got released yet yeah, uh, technically today and it runs until 1207. So December 7th it runs. Go ahead, grind it out. You can get the Raditz. I don't think the Raditz is a good card, you know, at all really. Um, but he is there, and you can Doken Awaken him with the Raditz medals. Um, I don't know enough about the event. It's a really short one. I might just do a playthrough for you guys, because I've been trying to do more gameplay since I know I'm mostly a news channel. You get a whole bunch of agility training items, it looks like, on Stage 3. Um, the training... Oh, wow, look, you get some nice training locations on Stage 2. And the scouter is really cool. I think it's key plus 2, and for, like, after, like, the first turn, you use it. The, starting the next turn, four three turns, you could see when the enemy is going to super attack. Very useful, actually. 
Um, so yeah, that's cool. I did my review of Raditz last night. Um, I'll at some point I'll probably do a team building guide of him. You know, if you guys want it, I probably will just because it's a new card. But um, not going to be a high priority on my list if new news breaks. Uh, next one is going to be the Extreme Z Battle, or the Extreme Z Awakening of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That runs until 12-4, it looks like. So go ahead and run that event. I haven't done it so far at all. Um, I should because I do have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel, or the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku. Uh, I definitely won't be able to get up to stage 20. I mean, you have to get up to stage 30 for it. But I won't even be able to get past stage 20. I don't even, I don't even think I'll be able to get past stage 15. I'll have to go ahead and take a look and see. I'll, I'll play it and then I'll, you know, maybe I'll do some gameplay of me doing it. Uh, we'll see what happens this weekend and how busy I am. That runs until uh, December 4th, so make sure to do that if you're looking to do that. Uh, the next one is going to be... Oh, okay, looks like this is actually... Is this the same thing? Oh, okay, no, this is going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Goku event. It looks like it's a special that he's going to be available every day. That ends until the 12th, or 12.04, so December 4th, so that's that. Um, we have the Bio Broly event that looks like it's back out. It runs until 12.04 as well. Uh, not really that great of an event, in my, in my opinion. But the Bio Broly is actually pretty decent for tanking on the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku event for the Extreme Z Awakening. He is a revival unit. He's an extreme unit. He's a tech unit. He'll tank hits for you. He may not do the most amount of damage, but he'll at least do damage because he gets that modifier on him to do good damage on that specific event. So go ahead, grind him out from stage 5, you get him and the metals. I, I don't recommend feeding dupe system in. I know some of you guys have done the dupe system in on him, I don't recommend that. Just get him the super attack 10. If you want to do dupe system, I would recommend doing the bottom left path, not the bottom right, not the top left. The bottom left for his defensive buffs, maybe the bottom right because of the, the all-around good buffs that he gets. But I don't really recommend wasting your orbs on it at all. But he's going to be good for that specific, one specific event. And his medals are there, Doken Waking. From this event, you also can get uh, Hercule statues on stage 1, though it's a random drop between bronze, silver, and gold. You get the Goten and Trunks medals, which Doken Awaken their physical and agility forms. Uh, the agility Goten and the physical Trunks, which is really good. The physical Trunks is really good. The agility Goten is good too, but physical Trunks is really good on a mono physical team. Uh, Android 18 for the Android 18. Uh, Android 18 medals on stage 3 for the Android 18 that Doken Awakens. That is this one up over here. That's what she Doken Awakens. Again, not really a good card. She has no viability. I already did a full team building guide on that. I don't think she's good at all, but you can do that. Uh, you have Krillins that are on stage 4. It's really, honestly, the only thing I could see about that Krillin is grinding him out two feet into the Technique Baba Shop Krillin if you want to do that. He's not a good unit either. <laughs> but he's there if you want to do it for collective purposes or for a free-to-play unit. Uh, again, that runs until 12.04. Next one is going to be, oh, my favorite. Now, I already did the summons on this, so I'm not going to spoil anything. But, oh my god, my favorite banner. Uh, this ends on 12.07. This is the collaboration Dragon Ball Heroes. I, I really hope this comes to global. I really do. Uh, it has a Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, and Toa. Definitely awesome units, especially this Gohan. He's actually, you know, he's a really good unit just because he does supreme damage. Uh, that kind of stinks, actually, but the fact is his passive is an unconditional 60, and then when he launches his uh, super attack, it's an additional 60, so he does 120% up on his super attack. That's phenomenal. I think it's actually his, his base passive is attack and defense plus 60%. So he's just a really cool unit. Definitely, definitely worth it. Um, yeah, it says right up over there. So, and the Trunks isn't bad either. He has a high chance to guard against all types, and he disables enemies' guard when he attacks, which is really cool. Um, the next one is going to be, or yeah, I said, I said I told you guys when this ends, right? 11, 1207, December 7th. Next one is going to be the Elder Kai. Now, this is going to be the one of the first ones I'm going to tell you to actually summon on and use your stones on. I know some of you may know, oh, I don't need any Elder Kai's because I don't have any new units. Well, honestly, this is probably the most beneficial banner you're ever going to be able to pull on. 10 Elder Kai's for the price of 50 stones. I did pull on that as well. I did all that on there. Um, it ends on December 4th. Guys, make sure you pull on that if you need Elder Kai's for your cards. You want to get them up to Super Attack 10. Um, so that's just it. There's nothing else new about that. Just make sure you do that. Uh, the next banner is going to be the Extreme Doken Festival uh, banner. You have the Technique Cell. I don't know why the Super Saiyan 3 Broly's on here, but I guess it's because you he's probably one of the best units you can bring to go up against Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku on the Extreme Z Awaken event. Uh, Cell's also good for him as well because he's an extreme tech unit and he's probably going to be the next one to get an extreme Z awakening. But it's, those are the three featured units. So uh, I don't have full in-depth reviews of all of them, but they're really good. You know, the, the Cell isn't that bad when you give him dupe system. And if he gets an immense damage modifier, he's going to be so much better. Uh, but yeah, guys. All right, cool. That's that. Next one is going to be the Resurrected Warrior Gathering or Gotcha. Uh, so this runs until 12.04. Nothing I'm going to really tell you to recommend pulling on. 
but it's for a revival. It's what these the extreme Z awakening requires for uh, you to do extra damage to the Super Saiyan three Goku. Eh, I don't know if you want to summon on it or not. You can if you want to. I don't recommend it, but you can if you want to. Uh, the next one is going to be this one. Actually, ends okay. This one ends in eight days. I got confused because it said November, and everything else has essentially been December. This is the Dragon Ball Super uh, Kefla banner. Uh, this one runs until November 30th. I don't recommend pulling on it, but all the LRs are on it. Uh, so if you're re-rolling, it's going to be worth it for you. If you're not re-rolling, then don't do it. <laughs> um, if Unless you don't have any of the characters, then it might be worth it for you, because Kefla is a decent unit, and Kale and Khalifla are both really decent units as well. Um, so it's really up to you if you want to pull on it or not. Uh, I don't recommend it, but, you know, it's cool. But yeah, guys, that's it. That is the full event list of events that are happening right now on Dokkan Battle. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you are new here. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I have a whole bunch of new, new good content that's going to be released in the next couple days and throughout the rest of today. Thank you. I'll catch you guys later.